The homeless population is being removed from the subway system during the overnight hours, but advocates say this vulnerable group needs more than a bus ride to a crowded shelter. Joining us now via Skype is Dr. Allison Gralneck. She's the chief medical officer with Project Renewal. That's a nonprofit that helps New Yorkers end the cycle of homelessness. Dr. Gralneck, thanks for joining us this evening. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So first, I want your take on the city moving people who are homeless off of trains during the overnight hours. What did this expose about our problem with people who don't have shelter? Well, the city is doing a tremendous amount to uh, ensure that uh, people who are vulnerable in New York City and those with the experiencing homelessness, um, you know, have the services they need. They are providing hotel rooms um, for those uh, who, you know, need access to a safe place to stay and quarantine to protect them from the illness. Um, at Project Renewal, we provide health care. Um, homes, housing, and, and job training to 16,000 New Yorkers annually. Um, and we're, we're, you know, participating in um, providing the care to ensure that they maintain access to services, medication that's needed during this difficult time. Yeah, Project Renewal is doing amazing work. Tell me or describe for us what your work was like before the pandemic and now. Right. So at Baseline, Project Renewal provides healthcare, housing, and job training. Um, and we, as in healthcare services, have uh, four shelter based clinics, mobile healthcare services, as well as uh, psychiatric care embedded in our shelter and housing programs. At Baseline, we're a safety net provider. We make sure that the most vulnerable New Yorkers have access to low barrier and low threshold care. Um, so you know, our mission is keeping people out of the emergency room who don't need to be there um, and and connecting them to care. During the pandemic, when systems are already sort of over taxed and burdened, um, our work is that much more important to make sure that people who are experiencing homelessness have access to care. Um, these are, you know, people who are um, experiencing homelessness also have um, serious mental illness, co-occurring substance use disorders, um, and multiple monoc mo chronic medical conditions that make them at higher risk for severe illness during COVID. So, um, you know, our work was to proactively outreach people who were at higher risk to make sure they had access to medical, to medications and other medical care to keep them as healthy as, protect them as possible during, during COVID. Yeah, and on June 2nd, you were forced to cancel your benefit at Chelsea Piers. Explain how people can help support your organization during this critical time. Thank you. So, um, yeah, so we have been really fortunate to um, receive um, some some extra uh, support during this time and, and federal money, but Project Renewal like like other um, systems is you know continues to be in need of uh, PPE um, so that we can protect our frontline staff um, who are keeping people out of the hospital and housed during this time. Um, we need to, you know the testing kits so that we can continue with our initiatives to um, test and keep and identify, trace and keep people in um, isolated and into care. Um, and they can go on our website projectrenewal.org and um, and donate. Yeah, and very quickly, I have 30 seconds. There's been a big drop off in volunteers across the board. Do you have enough volunteers helping out? We can always appreciate volunteers. We are partnering with the city to um, test every uh, client who's in our shelter setting and congregate settings as well as our staff. So we could use volunteers to, for that initiative, um, you know, as well as anyone who wants to volunteer with our healthcare services and outreach, um, you know, donate masks and cloth masks and all of that. Okay. Dr. Allison Grolnick, Chief Medical Officer with Project Renewal, thanks to you and your staff for helping people who are experiencing homelessness during this time. Appreciate you. Thank you very much.